What's up everybody? Before you start watching this video, don't forget to look at our website. From resources to services, we have a lot of great content to check out. I noticed that some of you have already taken a sneak peek of our website. It's going to cover SAP, production, maintenance, work strategies, how to overcome obstacles within your company, and many more great resources. So check out our website and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube to find out some of the latest projects our team is working on. Thanks for joining us and enjoy our video. What's up everybody and thank you for joining me today. Um, <clears throat> today I'm going to show you how to um, do a manual call on a PM. Um, this will kind of help out, I don't know, if somehow SAP didn't print out a PM when it was supposed to. You can manually call that PM um, and I'll show you guys how. I'm going to show you guys how to manually call that PM through IP10. So, I mean, let's get it started. So, I mean, here, I have SAP up. Go up here. I'm going to put uh, IP10. Oh, no, IP10. Wrong keyboard. And you can see I already have, like, a maintenance plan. Um, before you go to IP10, make sure you already know uh, your maintenance plan that you want to manually call. So, you already have it to enter here. So, I have mine there, so I'm going to press Enter. So then here you can see um, all the maintenance plans, the call dates. So pretty much when the maintenance plan is going to get created. The plan date, pretty much the date that the work order should be printed for your technicians to do. And then if you go to manual calls, here, um, here you're going to see all the, all the manual calls you have done. As you can see, I only have done one. Um, and then uh, maintenance plan schedule parameters. Here you can kind of see some more information. Always make sure it's kind of, the call horizon is 80. Schedule period is 365. I'm not sure why, but I always see a lot of people put 90. I'm not, I'm not sure why people put 90 days. You want to schedule 365 days because that's, uh, that's how many days we have a year. But back to what I was saying. So from here, you pretty much going to click manual call. You're going to put the date that you want to um create it which I'll just put this date um, press check mark and then here is gonna ask you to select packages now if you have if, if that maintenance plans have different packages like a uh, two month p.m. six months bi-weekly it's gonna show right here and you can select whichever one you want to um, manually call but as you can see I only have uh, the bi-weekly so I'm gonna select that one click check mark Oh wait, I think I second didn't click it. Click it again, check mark. And then here you can see that um, my maintenance plan is already called. So then from here you can click save. And then let's say you wanna look at the work order so you can print it out real quick. You can go back into it, go to manual call. Um, oh, I guess I got more manual calls, but here's the last one. You highlight it, click the little glasses and then um, you can see right here here's your work order now I'm not sure why it doesn't let you change it through here so copy that work order um, and then go to uh, IW32 dump it on there execute release and print and I mean that's pretty much how you do a manual call um, like I said don't forget to like my videos share my videos with your co-workers or anybody that's struggling if you have any questions feel free to shoot me an email or leave a comment below I will be more than happy to uh, answer any of your questions to my best knowledge or put something together but once again thank you for joining me